Inotari Hullabaloo! Bartleby, look! It's starting! Everyone's on their way to the Funda Wanda Festival! Ooh, I'm so excited! Me too! How many events are we gonna go to? How many? All of them. The pie eating contest, the Yeti stomp dance contest, the Rainbow City bus toot salute. They all asked me to be a judge today. Wow, that sounds like a lot of stuff to do. Yeah, but I love to do a lot and help a lot. <laughs> and giggly green morning to you, True and Bartleby. Join us in celebrating all that makes Rainbow Kingdom fun and wonderful. Funda Wonder! Funda Wonder! Funda Wonder! <laughs> oh, I brought a special surprise for this year's festival. A Hino Tari egg. The Hino Tari mama bird lays only one egg every thousand years. What a nice thing to share with us for the Funda Wanda Festival. Oh, and speaking of the festival, True, I am a bit concerned about all the royal functions I must attend to while watching the egg. I can watch the egg for you while you do all your Funda Wanda kingly duties. Really? Why, thank you, True. <laughs> You're always so helpful. <laughs> oh, how cute. Ah, uh, True. Aren't you already busy with a bunch of events today, kind of? I am, but I can do all that and watch the egg. No problem. Thank you, True. Enjoy the Funda Wonder Festival. <laughs> yeah, the egg is, well, an egg. But this ice cream cone is amazement. True, check out my multi-flavored Mega Scoop Monster Cone. <laughs> Five second roll. What? Mm, two. <laughs> <gasps> That's my first event. The Rainbow City Bus Toot Salute. Mm. On your way, Judge True. Have fun. Mm. Uh oh. Eggie doesn't seem to like loud noises. I got this. You go honk it up with the buses, and I'll tootle around with Eggie here. Thanks, B. I'll be back soon. Ah, uh, cat's work is never done. Who's my Eggie? You're my Eggie. Yeah. Oh, hello, True. Are you ready to judge the toot salute? <laughs> oh, where's the Hinotari egg? Aggie doesn't like loud noises, Your Highness. So Bartleby's watching it until I get back. Ah, good thinking. All right, buses, let's hear those toots. Nice! How lovely! Golden Gardenias! It's beautiful! We have a Toot Salute winner! Congratulations! Oh, my! Eggs are particularly comfortable with kitty cats. It's obvious the calming effect of a nurturing kitty cat. Hey, me! <coughs> How's Eggy doing? Over easy. <laughs> Just a, that's an egg joke! It means Eggy's fine. <laughs> oh, good! I guess I didn't have to scramble back! <laughs> Good one. Hi. The Yeti Stomp Dance Contest must be starting now. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh, more loud noise? Poor Eggie. <gasps> oh, phew. You go. I'll keep exiting. Thanks, B. Back soon. Eggie, want a balloon? <laughs> Maybe we'll just pick a couple to tie around you. Oh, this one looks nice. No, no. Oh, look at that. That's incredible. Look at the colors on that one. That's a... Oh, oh wait a minute. That one. No, no. How about those two? Wait. Mm -mm. Mama? Maybe those ones. There. Yeah. Hold on. Balloons are floaty. What if they carried Eggy away? Oh. <laughs> oh, what am I worried about? It's not like you're going to... Hatch and run away! Oh, no. <laughs> wow! We have our Yeti stop dancing winner! <laughs> oh, right! The Royal 
Clockwork Critter Contest. Da -da -da -da. I almost forgot. Um, I'll check in on B and Eggy right after this. Eggy! Oh, all right, you've hatched now. Um, Hatcher! Where are you? I've got balloons! Hatcher! Oh, that chick could be a million miles away by now. You know what to do, Rocky. <laughs> Step right up and win a prize. Can you guess if this is a rock or a rock critter? Make the right guess and the prize is yours. <laughs> hmm, rock critter. Nope, rock. Oh. Rock critter? <laughs> awesome! Congratulations! Yay! Um, Miss True, uh, ma'am? The pie-eating contest. I forgot about that one, too. I really need to get back to B soon. There you are! <laughs> Boy, you love corn, huh? <laughs> That's great. Hey! No tickling my nose now. <laughs> that was a tickle, I think. Nice red tail feather, by the way. Mama? Mama? No, 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 no. Stay put, little Hatcher, okay? While we go find True. Hatcher? Oh, no, 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 Hatcher! Hatcher! Hey, baby! Yeah! What's wrong? Um, funny story. Um... <gasps> the egg? It hatched? Yeah, just a little. Okay, a lot. It hatched a lot! And it ran away! Oh, no! I should have come back sooner. The Rainbow King is counting on me. We have to get Eggy back. I call her Hatcher now. You know, since she hatched and everything. <sighs> I promised to help out on too many things today, B. But I couldn't keep up. I should have never taken on the egg sitting job. And now this happened. I'm sorry. No big deal, True. Everyone knows how much you want to help. And I'm here to help you. Thanks, B. You're the best. Now, let's go find Egg... Uh, I mean, Hatcher. She went that way. Hatcher! What a sweet little chicky. Mama? Oh, she thinks I'm her mama. Did you see that? A kiss from Hatcher? Turns people into chicks. We've, We've got to stop, stop this. this. Follow that chick. Hatcher's speedy. You should see how fast she ate a cob of corn. She likes corn? Quick, B, grab one. Oh, Hatcher, over here. I have lots of yummy, yummy corn. <laughs> oh, greetings, Hinotari chick. <laughs> you know, Tari Chick. Oh, my. <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. You okay, little fella? <laughs> True, <gasps> Bartleby. And the Hino Tari Chick has hatched. We know, we know. We're trying to find her. But we must do it soon. Until the Hino Tari Chick gets a kiss from its mother, it will keep kissing citizens. It will? it will? Yes. And then it won't be long until everyone is turned into a chick. <gasps> Not to worry. Fortunately, I know the best way to catch a Hinotari chick. It's as simple as... Rainbow King! What is going on around here? I came to the fun to win a festival to have fun. If something bad is happening, keep it away from me. Mama! Hatcher's <sighs> searching for her mama, and she's kissing everyone in sight until she finds her. Well, we better reunite them fast. One Hinotari chick is cute, but a whole town full? Come on. We need some big time wish help. Oh, Cumulo! To the wishing tree, please! Yeah! <laughs> Thanks, Cumulo! Hi, 
Daisy. Oh. Greetings, to and Bartleby. What's going on with the wishes? We're celebrating the Fun to Wonder Festival by playing our own games in the wishing tree. Right now, they're about to do a sack race. I'll be the judge at this event. On your mark, get set, go wishes! We have a winner! <laughs> Don't worry. We'll play a lot of games so that you can all get a ribbon. <laughs> now, how can the wishing tree help you, True? We have a problem, Z. The Hinotari chick hatched, and now the chick is kissing everyone and turning them into chicks. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Even worse, it's going to keep happening until we get her back to the top of Mount Tippy Tippy Top to get a, a kiss, kiss from, from her mom. mom. Great gravity. What a dilemma. Let's sit and have a think about this. How do you plan to fix this problem? Well, I need a wish to help me bring all the chicks together so I can pick out the real one. Sounds good. Any other ideas? I'll need another wish to help me change them all back again. Good thinking. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It's time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. Wishes a lot. Let's see what the Wishopedia says about them. Hmm. Oh, here it is. Your first wish is Tis Way, a musical wish that plays music so enchanting that everyone wants to follow the wish around. That's handy. The chicks can follow Tis Way's music so I can get them all together in one place. <laughs> Your second wish is Tintly. Ooh, how bold. This color wish can change the color of any object, anywhere. Hatcher likes corn. Maybe I could color the egg stroller yellow. Then Hatcher will hop back into it. The stroller could look like a big, juicy corn niblet. <laughs> <laughs> and lastly, you have Flecto. Flecto can not only show reflections in its mirror, but it can make himself bigger and smaller as well. I'm not sure how a mirror can help us round up all the chicks, <laughs> but I'll find some way for it to help. You always do. Thank you, Z. And thank you, Wishing Tree, for sharing your wishes with me. You two! Back to the Fun to Wonder Festival, please, Cumulo! We have to find Hatcher and change everyone back! Uh, they're everywhere! <laughs> you think I'm your mama? How cute! <laughs> <laughs> I know just what to do. Find a Use good hiding spot. Wish. Okay, that's not on the same page, no. I'll herd them all together with some music. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Tisway! Wish come true! Tisway, do you know a song that these chicks might like? Uh-huh. Great, let's hear it. Hey, it's working! But won't they just run around again? You know, when the music...
music stops? Not if we round him up and put him somewhere. And I know just the place. Let's go! Yay! Up to left, right, here we go. Okay, we've got all the chicks. Uh, but there's so many of them. Now what? Well, if we can get up a bit higher and get a better look, then maybe we can pick out the right chick. Thanks, Tisway. Great job. <laughs> no cumulo! <gasps> hmm. The real one's hard to pick out. They all look the same. Yeah, they all have those big, dewy eyes and cute little tails with that one little red feather. One little red feather? Yeah, just like the one Hatcher tickled my nose with. Um, B, I only see one red feather. <laughs> that must be Hatcher! Yay, B! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, True. But now what? The chicks are on the loose again. We need something to get their attention. Hmm? hmm. Like a... <gasps> a big cob of corn! What? Zazuni juice balls. Ta-da! One big kitty corn cob. But it's purple. At least it's easy to move in. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Spoke too soon. I mean, just have to get used to it. And my second wish can help us with the color part. Zip-zap-zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Tinkly! <laughs> wish come true! Hi, Tinkly. I need to make Bartleby's disguise yellow. Just enough to make him corny. Do you think you can help? Uh-huh. <laughs> Super corny. I really am. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> Thanks, Tinkly. <laughs> Let's round them up again. Here, chicky chickies. I have a giant cob of corn for you. Why don't they want my delicious corn body, True? Try acting more like corn. Act more like corn? What does she mean by that? Oh, okay, here goes. Corn, 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 I'm a corn on the cop. Corn, 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 doing such a great um job. There, that rhymed. It's working. Too well. Run! Keep going, B. Back to where we heard of them before. Yeah, I'm running as fast as I can. <sighs> Hurry, B! You can do it! I made it! I made it! <laughs> I didn't make it! Bartleby! Oh, my poor little kitty chicky! Uh-oh! Cumulo! Hurry! <sighs> Phew! Thanks, Cumulo! But now that I've lost Bartleby, I'm the only one left who isn't a baby bird. Ooh. Whoa, Griselda, you changed back? True. I do not know what's going on here. Ooh. But you better. Ooh. The puddle. Ooh. That's it. When the chick saw its reflection in the puddle, it changed back into Griselda. It would be a lot faster to use my mirror wish to change all the chicks back. Zip zap zoo, I choose you! Wicked Flecto! Wish come true! Flecto, are you ready to help me change everyone back? Mm hmm. Great! Let's go! Hi there! Who's this cute little face I see? Huh? Hey! It works! 
Thanks, True. Why do I have this urge to eat corn on the cob? Hi! Hello. Hey, thanks. Wait! Come back, chickies! <sighs> this would be much easier with a bigger mirror. <gasps> Flecto! I need you to be bigger so every chickie can see itself. <laughs> thanks! Let's roll! Look over here, please, Chicky. Purple persimmons! I'm a king again! Here, chick, chick, chicks! <laughs> well, it's about time. Oh, my little fooky whoops. <gasps> I'm my beautiful silky cat self again! True! So glad you're back, Pete! You were the last one? Everybody's back to being themselves again. Sweet! But where's Hatcher? Right here. <laughs> we must get her to her mama on Mount Tippy Tippy Top before she kisses anyone else. There's no time to waste. Oh, Mama Hino Terry Bird. <laughs> We brought you a little something from the festival. <laughs> wow. Do you think it worked? Only one way to find out. May I? Thank you. You're welcome. It worked. I'm not a chick. <clears throat> and me? Thanks. Woo-woo, <laughs> <laughs> Sky Bluffs! Z, a little early to be watching the sky, don't you think? The Lantern Festival hasn't even started yet. It won't be long now, though. Ooh, I can't wait to see our glow lanterns fill the sky with light. With light. Ah, well, you're about to see something else fly by that's just as amazing. Look! <laughs> Sky blobs? Wow, I've never seen them up close before. They only fly past here once a year when they migrate. Migrate? When it gets too warm, they head home to the chilly north. Woo, woo, woo! Ooh, I want to talk to them too. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> I think they heard us. Yeah, chatting's not my thing. I'm more the strong, silent type who always keeps his cool, you know? <laughs> Big Sam Blubs! Biggie Blubs! Sky Biggies! This! This thing! They even have a cute blubby baby! Oh, Hi, baby! <laughs> With your big blubby baby mouth, a whole kitty could fit in there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see any wings. They must fly with their tails. Yes, they're very graceful flyers. It's landing that they're not so great at. <laughs> Ninja cat hide. Ninja cat hide. Can't see. Not not wanting to be seen. Shivering with fear. Aren't they wonderful, Bartleby? Bartleby, where'd you go? Right here, too. We should really be going to that non-Sky Blob Festival thingy, remember, that we were going to go to? The Lantern Festival. I almost forgot. Okay, let's go. Want to come with us, Z? Thanks, Drew. I'm good. I can see the Sky Blobs and the Lantern Festival from right here. It's the best view in the kingdom. Okay, Z, have fun. Gotta go. Bye. And you Blobs have a safe migration north. Right? Yeah! Okay, time to move with the groove. This cat ain't got hooves. Woohoo! <laughs> now that kitty can dance. <gasps> B, look! <laughs> what? Something's wrong with the sky gloves. <laughs> Idea. Let's
let's watch the festival from under here. In case, you know, it rains. <laughs> no, Bartleby. True, the sky blobs have turned around. What's going on? I think the music from the Lantern Festival is scaring them. That must be it, because they're not going to the chilly north now. They're heading towards the steamy south. Steamy and warm sounds perfect. Not for the sky blobs. They only like cold weather. Hot weather won't be good for them at all. We have to turn them around. Can you stop them until we get there? I'll do my best. Ocumulo! Sorry we're missing the lantern launch, B. But we have to help. Yep. It's what we do. Time to hop aboard. Why aren't I hopping aboard? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, legs weren't moving for some reason. To the sky blobs, please. Z, what are you doing? Trying to calm down the herd of sky blobs. I need to work on my sky blub call. <gasps> Easy little blub. It's okay. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> They're so freaked out right now. We're gonna need some wish help to calm them down and turn them around. To the wishing tree, cute. Oh. <laughs> Oopsies. Thanks, Cumulo. Everyone okay? Yes. Did I forget to, um... <clears throat> did I forget to mention that the sky blobs get upset easily? Yes, but we know now. Okay, there you go, little wish buddy. If I can just calm the sky blobs down, I can get them flying to the chilly north again. But how? That will be a challenge. Let's sit and have a think about this. How will you get the sky blobs to fly to the chilly north? First, the poor things are so jumpy and startled by unexpected things. I need to make them feel safe again. Like how you feel when you're with people you care about. <sighs> how warm and lovey. The way you make me feel. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Bartleby, exactly. A wish could help us do that. And if they're still spooked, then I'll need another wish that can lead them to the chilly north. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It's time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. Please share your wonderful wishes with me. Please share your wonderful wishes with me. Wishing tree. What fantastic wishes! Let's see what the Wishopedia says about them. Your first wish is... Ah, Tisway. It's a musical wish that plays music so sweet and enchanting that everyone loves it and wants to follow it. That's great! Tisway can help get the Sky Blubs to follow us too. For your second wish, you have... Sidebar. How sweet. It's a togetherness wish. It gives you that warm, cozy feeling, like when you're with somebody you care about. <laughs> I don't know what's come over me, True, but I love you more than ever. 
A togetherness wish is perfect. It'll help the Sky Blubs see me as family and let me lead them to the chilly north. And your third wish is deflect. Very interesting. It's a shield wish that can deflect anything that bumps into it. Psst. Can you deflect a sky blob falling out of the sky? Yeah, I just, I was asking for a friend. A shield wish is cool, but I'm not sure how it will help us lead the sky blobs home. You'll put the wish to good use, like you always do, True. Thank you, Z. And thank you, Wishing Tree, for sharing your wishes with me. Any questions? Just face bubble me. I know a lot about sky blobs. We will. Come on, B. Let's get our flying friends to the chilly north. Oh no! Look how far they've flown already. We're almost at the steamy south. You can feel the steamy heat all the way over here. Ooh. That steamy warmth is awful. Just awful. Yeah. Poor baby Sky Blub. She's really scared. Oh, she totally is. Quick, Cumulo. We have to get ahead of them fast so we can turn them around. And I have just the wish to make them feel warm and lovey. Then I can lead them away. All together now, side by. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you. Wake up, side by. Wish come true. <laughs> Hi, side by. We need the sky blubs to feel like I'm part of their family, so they'll feel safe enough to follow me. Can you? Whoa! Phew. <gasps> side by? No, wait, side by. I want them to follow me, not Bartleby. What's happening? I'm tingly all over. <laughs> Even my tingles are tingling. <laughs> Uh, what's with all this sky blobbing? Bartleby, they're attracted to you. To me? You mean like I'm their mama? No, 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 no. You're supposed to be their mama. You are. Uh, side by? Hmm? Can we try this again? Mm -mm. Well, thanks anyway. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm sorry, B. Side by only has the wish power to do that once. <laughs> Aww, the baby sky blub really loves you now. Aww, tell her to stop. I can't. Even the baby's mama wants you to be her mama. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not ready to play mama. I don't even wash my own paws before dinner. <laughs> Until Side By's wish power wears off, you are their mama. But don't worry, you can calm them down. I can what? <laughs> Giddy down! Hey, thanks, little blubster. Soft, squishy, good. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, keep it together, me. Sky Blobs, if we're gonna do this, you gotta. You gotta listen to your mama, okay? And your mama needs some space. Woo -woo. Thanks, guys. It worked! They listened! To me! See? You're a natural. Now let's lead them home. Right, home. Um, Sky Blobs? Mm -hmm. Turn around, please. The chilly north is that away? Mm. Gotta listen to your mother, me. Come on, little blobbies. We're leaving the steamy stuff behind. Nice work, Mama Bee. Thanks, True. That's all in a day's work. <laughs> this trip will be a breeze. Huh? <laughs> what? We're stopping. <laughs> Yeah! Oh, we're going to Happy Farming Valley, whether we like it or not. Oh, boy, that was terrifying. At least I didn't get squished. Oh, no. Are you okay, B? I'm okay. Clouds are as light as, well, Clouds! Bring it in, B. I got you. Huh? True, why are you slobbering on me? Oh, hey! 
So this is why they landed in Happy Farming Valley. It's snack time. Yes, it is, and I like their style. <laughs> oh, B. You like tangy tum tums? Mm hmm. Hmm. Huh? Hmm. Hmm. I think they want to be fed by someone else. Someone named Mama. Oh. But their mouths are huge. What if I fall in? Fall in! Fall in! It's okay. They won't eat you. Are you sure? Pretty sure. Pretty sure? Oh, don't be scared. They love you, remember? And if anything happens, I'm right here to help. Okay, um, here's Sky Blob. Oh. Get your tangy tum tum from your mum mum with the yum yums. <laughs> oh, well, can't say we didn't try. <laughs> maybe they'll feed themselves now. Maybe. Hmm, maybe. Izzy, we're having trouble feeding the Sky Blobs. They won't eat the tangy tum tums. Ah, try holding the fruit in your mouth. You mean like this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Smart, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, are you okay, B? So much flubbiness. But it didn't eat you, right? No, she didn't. That's my super brave kitty. Come on, we'll need more tangy tum tums to fill those big bobby bellies. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. It's feeding time. <laughs> <laughs> nice baby feeding, Mama Bee. <sighs> Thanks. Hey, fun fact sky blob tongues feel like slobbery sandpaper. <laughs> okay, little blob, let's get you and your family home. <laughs> Chili North, here we come. Uh-oh. Oh, well, what now? Are you thirsty? Itchy? Need a belly rub? What? What? She's just saying, thank you, Mama. Oh, wow, you're welcome. Oh, Bartleby, <laughs> we're getting close to the festival. Uh-oh. Bingo Bango's still playing. The Lantern Festival is still going on. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no! Sky Blobs, cover your ears! Plug them good, darlings! <sighs> it stopped. Oh, good. Whew. And if the music's done, <gasps> that means... Ready? Three, two, one. Lanterns away! Oh, look at that. Everyone's launching their glow lanterns! Woo! 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 Lantern's scary! Lantern's very bad! Oh, poor little sky blobs. Oh, now the lanterns are scaring the blobs. Stay away from my babies. Lanterns away from my children. Huh? What happened? I forgot the lanterns did that. When they land or hit something, they pop. <laughs> With the funny sound. That way, they don't leave any mess anywhere. Well, there's just way too many lanterns. <laughs> We've got to get rid of them all before my sky blobs go the wrong way again. But if we pop all the lanterns, we'll ruin the lantern festival. <sighs> what do we do? Let's think about this. Okay, let's think. If we could make a path for the sky blobs to fly through, then we wouldn't have to pop all the lanterns. Just some of them. Yeah, yeah, great idea. We'll use d -Fleck, my shield wish. He can clear a path by popping lanterns away. Right on, let's do it. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you. Wake up, d -Fleck. Wish come true. Get behind me, everyone. Okay, Cumulo, let's pop some glow lanterns. It's okay. Mama's best friend is taking care of those scary bad lanterns. Sky Blobs, it's okay. Just listen to your mama and follow me to the chilly north. The sky is looking clear. It's time to skip the drama. We've got 
somewhere we ought to be. Better listen to your mama. I'm the head of this family. Here's what we're going to do. We'll fly high up just like the wind and go woo, 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 woo. <laughs> Great job, d Fleck. Ah, Nothing to worry about here, Skyblubs. Whew! Now back in the back. <laughs> we did it! Yeah, we showed those lanterns who's boss. Now nothing's gonna stop my Skyblubs from getting home to the <laughs> chilly north. <gasps> Are those... storm clouds? No! Nah, my babies do not like those. But Mama can tell these things. Let's land until they pass. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> Good stop. This is bad. The storm clouds are moving in from above and below. So they're all around us? Not yet they're not. It's clear flying through Pointy Rock Canyon. But it won't be clear for long. We have to go now. I don't know, True. Z said the blubs scare easily, and those pointy rocks look pretty scary. And that thunder's scary, too. We have to think of some way to calm them down. <gasps> I've got it. I'll have Tizway play some relaxing music. That should keep the sky blubs calm and distracted. Tizway, I need you. Zip zap zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Tizway. Wish come true! Hi, Tizway. We need some music to help us lead our friends through Pointy Rock Canyon. <laughs> yeah, that's a little too mellow. You have to hurry, Bee. Okay, okay. We need music that'll get their fins a-flapping so they'll follow us forward. Faster fin flapping music <gasps> coming right up. Sky Blubs, hey, you are the best. Baby Blub and all the rest. Sound off. Blub call. Woo wee, woo wee, woo woo. Woo wee, woo wee, woo woo. Woo woo, woo wee, woo wee. Almost there, we're nearly through. There's only one thing left to do. Fly through. <laughs> the Chili North! We're here! <laughs> now I know why they call it the Chili North. <laughs> we helped the Sky Blubs get home. Can you come to me, any Blub? <laughs> <laughs> Yicky! Bit less sandpaper tongue, please. I'm so proud of you, Bee. You were a great mama. <sighs> Thanks, True. Well, side by his wish power will wear off soon, though. Then the Sky Blubs won't see me as their mama anymore. Bartleby, side by his wish power doesn't last this long. It wore off ages ago. It did? So the Sky Blubs love me for being me? Yep, just like I do, Bartleby. Uh huh. Uh oh. What is it, baby? What? <laughs> I didn't have a tangy tum-tum fruit that time. <laughs> I think that one was just a kiss. Aw, <laughs> Mama is so happy now. Fruity sitting. Don't worry, Bartleby. When we're done at the Rainbow Castle, we'll go straight to Boing Boing Lagoon. Paw promise. Paw promise. Oh, I can't wait! You and I had the bounciest place in the kingdom. Bouncy fun, here we come! <laughs> uh, greetings, True and Bartleby. Hi, Hello. Your Majesty. Forgive my haste, but I'm in a rush to get to the never-ending chit-chat council. The never-ending chit-chat council? You mean the chit-chat never ends? Oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. It's only for the day. It's just called that because it's held in the never-ending forest. Oh, okay. <laughs> Polka dot pink. <laughs> I almost forgot why I asked you here. Would you two mind castle sitting for me today? No, what? Really? 
You want us to castle sit for you? Of course! I trust you, True. You'll have no trouble at all. Especially taking care of my rare and exquisite flowerous magnificus. <laughs> Admire its beauty, but best not to touch it. No problem. Bye for now. Off we go! Bye, Your Majesty. Have fun. <sighs> Bye, Boing Boing Lagoon. Aw, cheer up, Bee. I'm sure we'll have just as much fun here. How? Castle floors aren't bouncy. No, but they are slippery. And you know what you can do on slippery floors in your socks, right? Slide a thon! I'll borrow the Rainbow Guard socks! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I won't! Oh. I'll just use my fur! <laughs> Slide a thon! <laughs> <laughs> Zelda, what are you doing here? The Rainbow King told me you were castle sitting, True. I would help, but I'm going to the never ending chit chat or whatever, too. It's all part of being a princess. So you wouldn't mind if I left my precious Frookykins here with you while I'm gone? Whoa, 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 whoa. Leave Frooky here with us? But we were busy sliding. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. It's okay. Fruki's sweet. I'm sure we won't have any trouble. Yeah. No trouble at all. Whoa! Great. Here's Fruki's favorite ball. Mwah! Smooches! Ta-ta! Come on, Bee. We can all play together. <laughs> Fetch, Fruki! <laughs> You're really good at this. <laughs> Uh oh. Oh no! No, Fruki! Hmm, my super slide should win True back. Hey, True! <laughs> Woohoo! After all that playing. I'm fine, but Fruk's all out of drool. <laughs> I'll get a bowl of water. Be right back. Fine. Fetch. Fruki, I got your water. Where's Fruki, B? I don't know. Fetching. So, how about a quick slide before he comes back? Just you and me. You're on. Whoa. <laughs> Fruki? Hmm. I wonder what Fruk's doing in the greenhouse. We better check. Oh, so close. <gasps> no, Fruki, don't. <sighs> Whoa! Double, Double Frookies? Frookies? <laughs> Triple Frookies? <laughs> One, two, three, four Frookies! <gasps> the flower's magnificus! Now we know why the king said not to touch it! Come on, Bob, sit! <laughs> Stay! <laughs> Lie down! Move! <laughs> Do a headstand! Anything! <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. Not fun. Come on, Bee! Oh. oh no! I got it! <gasps> oh no! Whoa. No, 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 no! So many Frookies! This castle is so big! How can I catch all the Frookies if I can't even find them? 
I have to get some wish help. But I can't leave the five fruities alone. I'll keep an eye on them while you're gone, True. <laughs> <gasps> Today, Cumulo, up to the wishing tree, please. <laughs> uh. Hi, Z. True, there, hello. Huh? Talking, am I? Ubu with. Ubu? Ubu is a backwards wish. You have to talk backwards to it. Oh, um, Z. Hi. Help wish some need I. <laughs> <laughs> back up you go. Or is it go you up back? Come and sit down, True. <gasps> How can I help? Well, I meant to be castle sitting, but Griselda dropped off Fruki. And then the king's flowerous magnificus turned one Fruki into five. Oh boy. How can the wishing tree help? I need some wishes to help me round up all the fruities, then turn them back into one again before they wreck the rainbow castle. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It's time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. Interesting wishes, True. I can tell you more about them. Let's check the Wishopedia. Your first wish? Ah, yes, Sizer. It can make you minuscule or gargantuan. Gargantuan what? Minuscule means very small, and gargantuan means very big. With this wish, you must snap your fingers to get it to stop. Gotcha. If this wish can make me really big, it'll be easier to catch all the fruities at once. Your next wish is... Joiner. It can make several objects into one. Just make sure they're all close together, or it won't work. That's good to know. The last wish you have is... Floto. Ooh, how exciting. It can make very big bubbles that you float around in. A big floaty bubble maker? Hmm. I can't think of how that will help me with the fruities. But you will think of a way, True. You always do. Thanks, Z. And thank you, Wishing Tree, for sharing your wishes with me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, wishes. <laughs> <laughs> I brought some wishes. Where are the fruities? I left them in the kitchen with some fishy poof crackers, then came out here for a snack. Pretty smart, huh? Fruity <gasps> games, I'm back! Griselda! If she sees five fruities, she's gonna freak out. Okay, I'll keep her busy while you fix the fruities. Uh-oh. <laughs> There's one. No, oh, the things I do to help True. I am some kind of something. Okay, here it goes. Woof! Fruki! 
Nailed it! <laughs> Very true. <laughs> I need all the Frukies together. How can I get them in here? Aha! Fishy Poof Crackers! They love these! Come and get it! Now's my chance. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Wake up, joiner! Wish come true! <laughs> okay, let's join all the Frukies back into one. Okay, joiner, spin around the pot as fast as you can! Cool! Let's see how it worked! Fruki? <laughs> you did it, Joiner! Great job! Oh, I'm going to cover my fruity rookie with widow kisses! <gasps> Bartleby! Hey, hi. Uh, nice beard, Griselda. <gasps> I kissed a cat! <laughs> Fruki, look! It's Griselda! My Frookykins! True. Why was Bartleby pretending to be my precious Frooky Pookie? Well, Bartleby's had a bad day, and so is Frookie. But Frook's been such a good little doggy. <sighs> but I'm a good kitty. <laughs> I guess she'd rather have a good dog. <laughs> Frooky Boo. <laughs> okay, Bartleby. Let's do some more sliding. Bartleby? I could leave and never come back, and True would never even notice. Huh. But I bet she'd notice if there were five of me! <laughs> so, how does that magic pollen work again? Abracadabra! Uh, presto changeo! <sighs> uh, it was worth a try. I'm so happy to have you back, my little... <gasps> Fruki! Oh, no, not the greenhouse again. What do you mean, again? <laughs> uh. oh. 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 <sighs> How much crazy stuff can one plant do? Giant fruity kisses. <gasps> what happened to my puppy? Look out! Fruity's gonna break everything if I don't fix this problem fast. Don't worry, True. I've got this. There. No more fruity getting in, no more plant problems. Big hero hog, bring it in, come on! True? <sighs> How do I catch a giant dog that's too big to catch? <gasps> I make it smaller. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Sizer! Wish come true! Ready to make Fruki smaller? Mm -hmm. On your mark? Get set! Z said I have to snap my fingers to get him to stop. Oh no! I can't do it! Bartleby, snap your fingers! I don't have 
have any. I've got this. I'm very good at getting attention. Looks like the only way is to follow Fruki through the keyhole. I know I'm asking you to do some extra work, but can you shrink us down? Uh -huh. Thanks, Sizer. Uh -huh. Come on, B. B. Whoa, Bartleby! Where are you going? Away. What do you mean? We were supposed to go to Boing Boing Lagoon and sock slide, but you've been spending so much time with your new best friend, Fruki. You're my best friend. I am? Of course. Fruki's my friend, too. But just because I spend time with other friends doesn't mean I love you any less. It doesn't? No. You're my best friend in the whole world and always will be. Pa promise? Pa promise. Best day ever. That's beautiful, but we have a puppy to save over here. Come on, Bartleby. Slide of them! Okay, Sizer. Shrink us down, please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks, Griselda. Yes, yes, just hurry up. Wow. It feels weird being small. <gasps> How big would a fishy poof cracker be right now? You can snack on some just as soon as we rescue. Fruki! We're coming, Fruki! Whee! Come on, Bartleby! This'll be fine. Cats always land on their feet. <laughs> oh! Are you okay? I made it, I think. I mean, I mean, that's the important thing. No, oh, Bartleby. Fruki. <laughs> Somebody's glad to see us. It's okay, Fruk. No need to be scared. We'll get you out of here. Now, if we can just get big again, we can open the door and leave. What made Fruki big before? It was one of those petals on the king's plant. I'll go get one. I mean, someone else will go get one. It's okay, B. Let's just think this through. We need to touch one of the petals. And to get up there, we'll use my last wish. Float out. Won't we just float away? Yes, but I have an idea. If we run really fast, it'll roll. Then we can steer it over to the plant and touch the petal. That's it. Float out. Let's do this. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Floto! Wish come true! Let's get ready for liftoff! Whoa! Whoa! This bubble floats fast! Run towards the flower, we have to get to its petals! Keep running, keep running! We're almost there, guys! <laughs> no! <laughs> Yay! We did it! Thanks, Floto. Time to go back in the pack. <laughs> Fruki buttons? Fruki snuggles? Fruki, whoa! <gasps> <laughs> oh, I'm happy to see you too, Fruki Kins! <laughs> Tro, how was your day of castle sitting? Not too difficult, I hope. Well, we have a lot of fun sock sliding, but we had a few accidents today, Your Highness. Oh, I'll say. Uh, that's all right. Accidents happen to the best of us. Yes, everything seems to be in tip-top shape despite the accidents. Oof, I'm glad to hear it. Oh, I should check on my flowers, Magnificus. It, it didn't bloom yet, did it? Your flower is the one thing we couldn't fix. We're very sorry. Oh, my. Oh, my. 
Oh, my! Huh? Flabbergasting fuchsia. <laughs> what luck! Luck? Accident or not, its petals fell off early. That means it's going to bloom sooner than I thought. Look! It's happening now! Isn't it spectacular? <sighs> Nothing like the flower is magnificent in bloom. <laughs> Four rainbow kings? Don't, Don't worry, worry, easily remedied. Gazootite! See? Happens all the time. All we had to do was say gazootite? Now there was some talk of sock sliding, I believe. I'm in. Come on, Furky. Let's go! Woo! Wait for me! <laughs> right behind you! <laughs> the Living Sea. <sighs> Would you like a nice cold Zazuni juice, Bartleby? It's the best way to cool off on a hot day at the beach. Just don't get brain freeze. How can my brain freeze when my head's so nice and warm, True? <laughs> brain freeze is what it feels like when you drink cold drinks too fast. So sip it slowly. Brain, brain freeze! freeze. <sighs> Body freeze! Paw freeze! Oh, 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 oh. Tail freeze! Tail freeze, anyone? I got it, Bee! <laughs> Good, fantastic. I'll go see if Rainbow King and his guards want some. It needs a grand entrance where I can welcome my visitors and plenty of windows to see the kingdom from. Oh, and don't forget the balcony. Oh. That's where I address my citizens. Mm -hmm. Thirsty, Your Majesty? Ah, oh, yes, thank you, True. My castle builders could use a break. Ice cold Zazuni juice. Oh. Mm. Don't drink it too fast, or else you'll get mm. brain freeze. Oops. <laughs> Ooh, a royal brain freeze. Oh, very refreshing. <laughs> so, what do you think? Does my sand castle look like my real rainbow castle? <laughs> Whoa! I can hardly tell them apart. Uh, what? Bartleby, did you finish the rest of the juice? <laughs> huh? What? Me? No! What? Did I? Wait, let, let me check. No shivers, no chills, no brain freeze. Nope! Wasn't me! Oh, hey! Hey! <gasps> A sea blob? Oh, you're so cute! Did you drink all our juice? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I bet you just wanted to cool off a bit. Clap, clap. Then let's go for a swim! Clap, clap. <laughs> yeah, this shade sure does the trick. A sea blob that doesn't want to go in the sea? That's not sea blobby at all. Blah, 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 blah. Whoa! Blah. I almost got blubbed big time! This is most unusual. Sea blubs hardly ever leave the water. Hmm. <gasps> the water's not cool at all. It's warm. Really warm. They're just trying to cool off in the shade. Maybe something's wrong with the living sea. Well then, we'd better check on it. Follow me. Come on, Barbie! Huh? Living Sea? Oh, yes, we go way back. I knew it when it was just a little puddle. <laughs> oh, wide and wonderful Living Sea, I ask that you please meet with me. Whoa. Rainbow King, how good to see you. These are my friends, True and Bartleby. They're very eager to meet you. The pleasure is all mine. The living sea doesn't look very lively today. If you don't mind me asking, um, your wetness, are you feeling okay? The heat 
It makes me sleepy. Heat makes me sleepy, too. The living sea must be part cat. But your water is always cold, even on hot days. That is correct. A family of ice stars keep me nice and cool. Ice stars? Yes, they keep the living sea cool, just like the ice cubes in Bartleby's Zazuni juice. They really do. <laughs> <laughs> you can find them out in the deep water. But I am not feeling them today. Shocking pink! If something happened to the ice stars... Then the living sea would get warm. Too warm for the sea creatures to live in. We'll go and check on the ice stars right away. Oh, that would be most appreciated. You're welcome. We're gonna need a blubber sitter soon. Our poor sea friends. I must try and cool them down. Good idea, Your Majesty. And while you do that, Bartleby and I will find the ice stars. Mm -hmm. Oh, Cumulo! <laughs> Hi, Cumulo. Let's fly out over the deep water of the living sea, please. Bye-bye. Water, water everywhere! Boy, the living sea should really be called the mega gigantic humongous sea. I guess your point is it's a really big sea. <laughs> huh? Hey, but I do see a couple of sailboats. <gasps> Those aren't sailboats. They must be ice stars. What do you think would happen if I lick one? <laughs> you probably get the biggest brain freeze ever. <laughs> <laughs> they should be making the water cold. Are these ice stars working okay? I'll just give them my cat's paw test. <coughs> Brr! Paw freeze again! <coughs> hey, but didn't the living sea say there was a whole family of ice stars? Hmm. It is a big sea. Let's keep looking. That's it. A gentle breeze will cool you off. Huh? <coughs> Be careful now. There's enough shade for everyone. Oh, my. Now there's no shade for anyone. Oh. Are you all right, my little sea blob? <laughs> well, that was lucky. <laughs> We're going to have to find a new way to keep you shady and cool. <laughs> hmm. That gives me an idea. No ice stars this way. No ice stars that way. No ice stars every which way. Whoa, I'm getting dizzy. I might... Oh, oh. I've got you, Bee. Phew. Wait, I see one. Oh, no. This is the ice star from earlier. I can see your paw print. Yeah, right. Wait a minute. There were two ice stars here before. Where'd the other one go? I don't know. We've looked everywhere and we still didn't find the other ice stars. And now we've even lost one. We need to figure this out and fast. Time for some wish help. Cumulo, to the wishing tree, please. True, Bartleby, over here. Fern, engage blowing. <laughs> That's a fun way to keep cool. Fun and useful. I'm preparing the wishes for all types of weather. Windy weather, freezing weather, and sunny weather. Oh, so they'll be ready for all kinds of weather when they go out into the rainbow yeah. kingdom with me. Exactly. That one's getting used to the cold. Don't get brain freeze. Oh, well, it passes. And this wish is getting used to hot, sunny days. Uh-oh, look out! Whoa! Whoa! I gotcha! <laughs> you okay, little buddy? Hey, Laura. Are you here to cool off, too? Actually, Z, we have to cool off the whole living sea. The ice stars are missing. Oh, no. So the living sea is getting warmer. The sea blobs are leaving the sea to cool off on the beach. That is serious. Let's have a think about this.
We've been all over the Living Sea looking for the Ice Stars. But we couldn't find them. So maybe they went under the sea for some reason. That's very possible. So we need a wish to help us search underwater. And then we need to make sure the Living Sea stays cool until we can get the Ice Stars back on the job. Good thinking, Drew. You've got a plan and you're ready to do it. It's time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. Please share your wonderful wishes with me. Please share your wonderful wishes with me. Wishing tree. Wishes. Let's see what the Wishopedia says about their powers. Your first wish is Chillsy. It is a freeze wish that blasts super cold beams to flash freeze anything. That's perfect. It'll help us cool down the living sea until we can find the missing ice stars. Are you up for chilling the sea, Chillsy? <laughs> Whoa. That's a yes! But keep my tail out of this. Hasn't it shivered enough today? <laughs> oh. Your next wish is... Bubba. It's an underwater wish that can help you breathe underwater too. We've already searched above the sea. To search under it, we'll need all the help we can get. Yeah, the only time this cat touches water is if I'm out of Zazuni juice to drink. Yeah, no offense. <laughs> For your last wish, you have Whomping. It's a stomping wish. Nothing makes it happier than Whomping and Stomping. I don't know how a stomping wish will help us find ice stars, but I'm glad to have you on board. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Z. And thank you, Wishing Tree, for sharing your wishes with me. Good luck, True Mortal Bee. Hey, look! There's a new sandcastle on the beach, and this one's even bigger! It looks like the Rainbow King found a way to cool off the sea blubs. <laughs> yes, I'm delighted that they're finally comfortable now. But if the living sea doesn't cool down soon, it's going to get very crowded in there. We haven't found the ice stars yet, Your Majesty. But we have our three wishes to help us. Let's go, Cumulo. There it is! I'd know my paw print anywhere. Poor ice star. Cooling the living sea all by yourself. We've brought you some help. All right, Chillsy. It's time to chill the living sea. Zip, zap, zoo, I trust you! Wake up, Chillsy! Wish come true! Hi, Chillsy. Let's see how far you can ice things over. Full power! <laughs> Great job, Chillsy. You can chill out now from all your chilling. So much better. <laughs> Thank you for the chill, True. You're welcome, Living Sea. But you're so big, we can't freeze all of you. It helps quite a bit. But without my ice stars, I cannot stay cool. We'll find the rest of the ice star family. I promise! <sighs> Okay, Cumulo, you keep looking for ice stars above the living sea while Bartleby and I look under it. Or, just thinking out loud here, Cumulo and I could stay up here. 
No soggy, drippy kitty that way. <laughs> oh, well, catch the cat again. <laughs> tail freeze again? Are you kidding me? I am not having a good tail day. Huh? Oh, another sea blub. I bet you want to be in the colder water here. Hey! Whoa! Whoa! Ah! Careful! We just meet that eyes! Aw, and I guess you want someone to play with, too. Why, oh why, do other creatures find me so irresistible? You are pretty cuddly, Bee. Why don't you keep little Blubby company while I go see if the missing ice stars are underwater? Bubba, time to do your stuff. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Bubba! Wish come true! Hi, Bubba. Let's go under the sea. Find the rest of your family. A rope? What's a rope doing under the sea? <gasps> the ice star's being pulled away! Someone's taking it! La -de -da -da now, isn't this better than jumping around and cracking all the ice? <laughs> Like a ball here, put me down. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I forgot to say gently. Oh look, the last ice star is leaving. The last ice star is leaving? That's bad. And this is worse. Sea Blob, where are you going? Whoa! <sighs> hey, wait. What am I worried about? Ninja Kitties can jump from ice flow to ice flow, right? One, two, Ninja Cat, go! Hiya! Ha! 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 Stay dry, must stay dry, must stay dry! Huh? You're dry! Ugh. Oh, true. Thank you, thank you, thank you! <laughs> I'd hug you, but, well, you have a big Baba helmet on. It's awkward. We'll have a big hug later, B. Okay. Right now, we have an ice star to catch. Cumula! <gasps> did you find any more ice stars, Cumulo? Mm -hmm. Neither did I, but I know what's going on now. The missing ice stars didn't sink or float away. They're being taken away. Taken? Why would someone want to take an ice star? I'm not sure. That's what we're going to find out. Bubba, thanks for helping me underwater. I know the ice star went this way, but I don't see it anymore. Hey, maybe my sea blub buddy saw it. Yes! Follow that pointing flipper! Look! There's a clue! A raft and some paddles, and they're still wet! This must be where they brought the ice star! <laughs> well, something's making it cold around here. Do you hear that? The ice stars! They're all here! They are! Me, yeah! Excuse me? It's okay. We didn't mean to startle you. I'm True, and this is Bartleby. They're wondering how we found their cove, and I'm wondering how I know that. Bartleby, you speak rockish? <laughs> well, a little. I mean, you know, cats are very good talkers. We followed you here. Are you the ones who moved the ice stars? They say they brought the ice stars here to cool down their home. They really like to play on the ice. But the ice stars belong in the living sea. Without them, it's too warm for the creatures who live in the water. 
They say they're sorry. They just wanted to freeze the lagoon and go skating. They didn't know they were warming up the living sea. <laughs> but they sure cooled things down in here. All the ice stars in one spot might be too much, Chill. <laughs> we have to move the ice stars out of here. Come on, everyone. All right, everyone. Get ready. And pull! It's frozen solid. <laughs> get the ice stars out of here until things warm up again. And we only have one wish left. Womp it. How can a stomping wish help us warm up the canyon? Hmm. Wait. Maybe we don't need warmth. When the living sea was frozen, do you remember how the sea blob bounced on the ice and cracked it? Yeah, and then I almost got wet. Oh, yeah. Cats, don't forget stuff like that. Womp it could do the same thing. Uh. It can stomp and stomp until all the ice breaks. Then the ice stars will be free and we can get them out of here. I am Woo! stomping the yeah! joy at this idea. Time for some wish help. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Wompit. Wish come true. Okay, Wompit. Ready to stomp it? <laughs> Let's get stomping! With a whoppin' bam slam, we're jumping up and down! With a whoppin' bam slam, we're stomping all around! With a whoppin' bam slam, can you hear that sound? It's the whoppin' bam slam of our big feet on the ground! Woo! Jumping up, jumping down! Paws are up, paws are down! Huge hop, whoppin' bop! Keep on going, don't you stop! With a whoppin' bam slam, all smiles on a frown! With a whoppin' bam slam, we're breaking. to get the Ice Star family back home to the living sea. How does the water feel now? Blop, blop. All nice and cool again. <laughs> <laughs> when winter comes and my surface is frozen, the rock creatures are welcome to come skating on me, True. Thank you, living sea. Did you hear that? Oh. It is such a relief to feel cool again. I feel a wave coming on. Whoa! <laughs> Bartleby, I thought cats and water don't mix. <laughs> they don't. Cool. But the sea blood's got me covered. Whoa! <laughs> they keep me nice and dry. Whoa! <laughs> For now. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Was a wag day. For me, true? It is, isn't it? Huh? It is. Uh, mm. You know, my favorite color is blue, right? <gasps> no, wait, it's yellow. No peeking, Bartleby. You can't see your wuzzle wag until it's finished. Wuzzle wag day rules. Don't you have a wag to decorate? Of course I do. I just, um, you know, haven't started yet. Galloping green, Bartleby. It can take time to get a wuzzle wag decorated just so. Why do we give painted wigs on Wuzzle Wag Day anyway? You mean you've never heard the story of the Wuzzle Bun? A Wuzzle Bun? Sounds cuddly. Like Wuzzy Wuzzy Woo. Oh, yes. They were cuddly and magical. You see, a long time ago, Wuzzle Buns roamed free in the Many Colors Meadow. A wuzzle bun used its magic to turn ordinary wigs into magical wuzzle wigs filled with special treats. What kind of treats? All kinds of wonderful things the Rainbow Kingdom never had before. Grabble apples, marshmallows. And were there fishy poofs? Fishy poofs? Yes, I'm sure that's where fishy poofs came from, Bartleby. But where did all the wuzzle buns go? No one has seen a Wuzzle Bun in 1,003,072 years. 
But we still decorate pretend Wuzzlewigs and give them to our friends on Wuzzlewig Day to celebrate the magic of the Wuzzlebuns. This year, I'm going to give you the prettiest, most awesome Wuzzlewig you've ever seen, True. But first, um, I have to find it. <laughs> Good luck, Bee! Ah, the many colors meadow smells like spring. <sighs> now to find myself the prettiest, most awesome wuzzle wake ever! Huh? No. <gasps> uh, that way, huh? Oh, oh okay. Thanks! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Help! Ah! Okay, okay, just point. I can follow pointing, you know. No! 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 No one saw that, right? Whoa! <gasps> oh, my paws. Those pushy plants were right. It's a wag. No, not just any old wag. The biggest wag ever! True's eyes are gonna pop out of her head when she sees this! I'm back! And I found you the best wag in the universe. You gotta see it to believe it. True, it's amazing! But don't look. You can't see it until it's done. Was a wag day rules! I need paint. Lots of paint. And a brush. <laughs> Aren't you just the best Whittle Waggy? Ah, oh, Whittle Waggy's so cute. Bartleby loves Waggy. Bartleby can't wait to give Whittle Waggy the best friend, True. <laughs> Whoops. Need more paint. Stay right here, Waggy. Be good for Bartleby. I'll be right back. Oh. Baba bee. Waggy? Waggy! Waggy! Where are you, Waggy? True Rainbow King! Cop quick! What's wrong? Out of paint already? No! I, I was working on an amazing wuzzle wake for True, and then I just left for a second, and when I got back, it was gone! Someone, or something, took it! Look at those footprints! They're ginormous! They're pretty big, all right. These tracks should be easy to follow. We'll have the mystery of the missing wag solved in no time. <laughs> I love a good mystery. Time to track that wag snatcher. We're coming, Weggy! What a weird path. It's like it doesn't know where it's going. Right. It's almost as if it's looking for more wags to steal. It all fits. Wag Snatcher gotta snatch wags. This is no ordinary thief. It's definitely some kind of extra strong, super sneaky, humongously hairy, big fangs, wag stealing monster headed right for. <gasps> Rainbow City! Uh oh. Just look at everyone innocently walking around with their wuzzle wags. Right out in the open, where the wuzzle wag thief could see them. We have to tell everyone to hide their wags until this extra strong, super sneaky, humongously hairy, big fanged wag stealing monster. <gasps> Caught! I'm not sure this is a full-scale emergency just yet, Bartleby. True. What do you think? Hmm. The footprints are really big, and Bee's wag did go missing. I guess Bartleby could be right about a wag snatching monster. Oh, I'd hate to spoil Wuzzlewig Day. But if Bartleby is right, we have to keep everyone and their Wuzzlewig safe. All right then. It is decided. <clears throat> Attention all Rainbow Kingdom citizens! We have evidence of an unknown wig-stealing monster in the kingdom. Please proceed to hide your wigs in a safe place and gather in the square until further notice. Ah! Oh, 
wag-stealing monster? You heard the king? Hide all the wags! If this monster is as horrible as Bartleby suspects, we may have to cancel Wuzzlewag Day altogether. Cancel Wuzzlewag Day? But Rainbow King, please, you can't cancel it. We're going to find out what happened to Bartleby's wag, and we're going to have Wuzzlewag Day. <laughs> I knew I could count on you. Good luck, True. Good luck, Bartleby. Okay, Bartleby. We have no more tracks to follow. Monster tracks! Don't forget that they're wig-snatching monster tracks. They may be monster tracks. Without maybe monster tracks to follow, the only way we can solve this mystery in time to save Wuzzlewag Day is with wish help. Oh, Cumulo! <laughs> to the wishing tree, please! How do you feel about purple? <laughs> Hi, Z! Hi, Wishes! Happy Wuzzlewag Day! True! Bartleby! I'm so glad you came! Some of the Wishes wanted to be painted like Wuzzlewags. <laughs> <laughs> you all look fantastic! <laughs> but Wuzzlewag Day is why we're here. Bartleby had a special Wuzzlewag. The best wag ever! And we think it may have been taken. By a super strong giant wag snatching monster with fangs and claws who just stole my perfect wag and took it back to its mystery lair. And we tried to follow it, but the monster tracks disappeared. We don't know that's what happened. Oh, I know. Here. It is true that we saw big footprints. And then they stopped. And we have to solve the mystery, or the Rainbow King might have to... Cancel Wuzzlewag Day. Hmm. Let's sit and have a think. <sighs> okay, True, how can the wishing tree help you? I think... If I may, first, we need to find the Snatcher. Then, we need to steal back the wag. Then, we need to get away real fast. And we need to make it so that they can't steal the wag ever again. Uh, I think what Bartleby is trying to say is that we need to find the wag... And the monster. ...and bring the wag home so we can save Wuzzlewag Day. The Wishing Tree has heard you, True. It is time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. <laughs> wishing tree, share with me. Tiny wishes, one, two, three. Scanzy. Wishing tree, please share with Same me. Magic power for you. Hey, ho, grapple, ha! <laughs> 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 I sure hope those wishes have extra oomph, cause we're gonna need it. Let's check them out in the Wishipedia. The first wish is Scanzi, a locator wish. It's my star wish at hide and go seek. Scanzi sounds like the perfect wish for finding Bartleby's wag. And the monster. Now, your next wish is... Same, same. One of the best mimic wishes. This wish can copy the sound or voice of anything it meets. Same, same. Really? Like what? Really? Like what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, cut it out. Okay, cut it out. No, really. No, really. How do you turn this wish off? How do you turn this wish off? <laughs> okay, same, same. All done. Same, same sounds just like Bartleby. Perfect distraction. We can use Same Same to distract the Snatcher while we steal back Weggy from right under its monster nose. If it has a nose. What about our third wish, Z? Graplo, a pickup wish. It can pick up and carry anything. Graplo! <laughs> yes, the perfect wig snatching device. Or, oh, 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 we should just bam, snatch the monster and all its wig snatching friends, yeah, yeah, and move them far, 
live far away from Rainbow Kingdom and save Wuzzle Wag Day! <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Bee. I'm sure these wishes are just what we need. Zoo Zip Zap wishes in my pack! <laughs> Time to find the missing wag. And steal it back! Oh, oh, thanks, Aren't you gonna use Scansy? I mean, we've gotta find that monster before it takes my waggy too far away! Let's ask around first. If there was a strange anything wandering around town with the wag, I'm sure somebody noticed. Great idea, True. Let's crack this case wide open! Or the monster that snatched it. Now, can we use Scansy? Pretty please, with a fishy poof on top? Absolutely. Time for my first wish. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Scansy. Wish come true. Scansy, we're looking for a very special egg that looks like this. Boop, boop, boop. And a very scary monster that looks like this. Scanzy! I think Scanzy's found something. And it's going to the Many Colors Meadow! Scanzy! <gasps> it's Weggy! And the monster's got him! And he's getting away! Weggy! We're coming to rescue you! True! <gasps> oh! The, the, the monster's inside my wag! There really was a wag snatching monster! Hey! Hey, you! Leave my wag alone, you terrible wag snatching thing, you! Baba Bear? <sighs> uh oh. Baba Bee! Ah! It's chasing us! so that monster can hear it. No time! It's coming this way! This way! This way! This way! Baba Bee! This way! This way! Phew! It worked! Oh, no! We just sent Same Same towards Rainbow City! This way! This way! We have to get there first and warn everyone about the monster! Come on! Again with the running? <laughs> well, this is just about the most boring Wuzzleweg day ever. This way! This way! 
Bartleby? Ah! Reggie, stop! Reggie, stop! Uh, Bartleby? Nobody move! There's an extra strong, super sneaky, humongously hairy, big fanged, egg stealing snatcher <laughs> inside that wag! <laughs> <laughs> Probably the wrong thing to say. Bobblebee? <laughs> Bobblebee! We have to fix this and stop that monster. Ah, uh, nobody, nope, no can do. I'm not going anywhere near that thing. Hmm, maybe you don't have to. Time for my third way. <laughs> Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Grapplo. Grapplo! Wish come true. Can you grab that thing and keep it away from everyone? Oh, yeah. Especially me? Keep it away from. Baba Me! Baba Me! Oh, Beast. I'll take care of it. I'm Kitty Natty Tough. I'm. It's okay, B. Graplo's got it. Oh. Oh, phew. Excellent job, Graplo. Make sure you hold that monster nice and tight. Wag Snatcher? But you're so cute and cuddly. Bartleby, this is no Wag Snatcher. It would seem you have found us a Wuzzle Bun. <gasps> <gasps> a real live Wuzzle Bun? Like from the Wuzzle Wag Day story? Indeed. Bartleby. I feel kind of silly now. I told everyone there was an extra strong, super sneaky, humongous, hairy, big fanged egg stealing monster. <laughs> B, it's okay. We all make mistakes. Your imagination told you something was true, but it wasn't. But I didn't even get you a wuzzle wag like I promised, True. Bartleby, the wuzzle wag you got for me had a wuzzle bun inside it. So I didn't ruin Wuzzle Wake Day? Quite the opposite. You made this the most special one ever. <laughs> I didn't ruin Wuzzle Wake Day! Aw, <laughs> oh, Waggy! Bubba Bee! What just happened? Wuzzle Bun magic. I suggest you all check inside your wuzzle wigs. Sparkles! You did that? <laughs> Wow, I wish you could come every Wuzzlewag day. Jumping jelly green, Bartleby. <laughs> what a wonderful idea. <clears throat> from this moment on, we will celebrate Wuzzlewag day with a visit from our new friend, the Wuzzlebun. And hide our wigs because it was so much fun. Hooray! 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 Great job, Wishes. Now back in the pack. <laughs> We did it, Bee. We solved the mystery and found your wig and the monster. <laughs> <laughs> All in time to save Wuzzle Wag Day. Best day ever! Even if you're the only one without a magic Wuzzle Wag? Huh? <sighs> Happy Wuzzle Wag Day, Bartleby. You painted fishy poofs on it? And me and you? It's perfect. Thanks, True. Thanks, Waggy. 
huh? <gasps> Extra special marshmallow fishy poofs. Oh. Uh huh. Thanks, Weggy. Happy Wuzzle Wag Day. And see you next year. Bye, Bubby. Yeti sitting. Next stop, Yeti Village. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? <laughs> Pardon me, we just left. But I can't blame you for being excited. I can't wait to babysit the Yeti triplets. Me too. <laughs> yeah, three Yeti babies equals three times the fun. Which is why I packed all my toys. I just didn't know if they'd be into squeaky toys. <laughs> or tin foil balls or silly faces. <laughs> I'm sure the Yeti babies will love your toys. Thanks for bringing them, Bartleby. And thank you, Griselda, for coming along to help. Oh, it's no problem. After all, I am a pro when it comes to babies. Look, I brought my How to Raise a Fruki book. Written by the most fabulous writer I know, me. <sighs> a whole chapter on baby talk? I'm fluent. Listen. Is little baby Bartleby excited to see the Yeti Weddies? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's good, yeah. <laughs> you are a baby expert. Mm-hmm. I raised Fruki all by myself, and he turned out perfectly. Mm. Babysitting is going to be easy. Right, well, we just have to remember, though, not to actually sit on the babies, okay, Grizz? No baby sitting. Look, I have a whole chapter on how not to sit on the babies. Mm. Last stop, Yeti Village. We're here! This is going to be so great! We are so ready to babysit your fuzzy little triplets. I've got my Fruki training book. And I brought all my toys. Hi, Hi Snick. Hi. Babies. Yuck. <laughs> Yuck. Fluff. Aw, they're almost cute enough to be princesses. <laughs> Okay, the babies just had their nap. I love marble berry. And they had some numble berries. And now it's playtime! Uh, and now they're ready for playtime! Did someone say playtime? <laughs> nope, not that, not that. Nope, nope, yes, yes! Hmm, what should we play? Fetch? Chase your tail round and round? Smother Bartleby with kisses? Brookie can play that for hours. Whoa, 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 whoa! Don't you don't! Aww. No! Bye! See you at sunset! We'll make sure they're in bed by then. All right, cuties. Who's ready for some true tickles? Hey, where'd they go? <laughs> <laughs> I have Grok! Correction, I had Grok. Bloof, <laughs> <laughs> nobody touches the crown. <laughs> Okay, Grok, that's a good girl. Uncle Barnaby's arms are getting a little tired. I'm just gonna put you down for a second. Okay, who wants to go for a kitty back ride? Huh? What? <laughs> there you are, you silly girl. <sighs> Whoa! Phew. Wait a ninja catch, B. Bundles of fun outside. Where things are less breaky. <laughs> Who wants to go for a little carriage ride? <laughs> Wait, we need toys. My Fruki Schmookums never leaves home without his favorite chew toy. <laughs> B, what do you have? Well, 
let's see. I got uh, Squeaky Mousy. No. Uh, yarn Ball. Uh, any takers? Hmm. Tough crowd. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> I know, you can't go wrong with a tinfoil ball! <gasps> the babies! They want to doubt us! <laughs> oh, phew. Just wanted to go to the playground. Okay, who wants a push from Uncle Bartleby? <laughs> After he has a rest. Bloof, that is such a cute pose. Okay, now stay. I've got to face bubble this. Ready? Say I'm a cutie. Uh, uh, huh? Uh, 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 uh. Silly Floof, come down here. The only thing cuter than a princess is a princess with a Yeti baby. <laughs> <laughs> The river. Ah, <laughs> you're right, Drew. That sounds way less jumpy and crashy. See? Isn't this fun? <laughs> I think she wants to sniff around the tree. Fruki loves sniffing trees. And then he. <gasps> ah! Fruki does not do that! <laughs> and see what they're up to. I'm sure there's something about all of this in my How to Train Your Fruity book. Went rolling off in their carriage. And then we found them, but then 
suddenly started pulling out trees. And the river got clogged, and the whole Yeti village is flooded, and Griselda's just floating there. And the babies are definitely not sleeping. And Erg and Snake will be home any minute now. Unbalanced equations! That is a big problem. But sit and have a think. Okay, True, how can the wishing tree help you? Well, the triplets are safe, so first we need to stop the flood in Yeti Village. Good idea. You should tackle the biggest problem first. There's so much water that everything's floating. Yeah, and running on logs is way harder than it looks. It is. The triplets make it look so easy. They're impossible to catch, so we need a way to round them up. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It's time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. Wishing tree. these wishes. Now let's see what the Wishipedia says about their powers. This is Graplo. Hey ho, Graplo. Ah. Graplo has mighty grabbing power. He can grab onto anything and lift even the heaviest oh. objects. Oh yeah, ha ha. Perfect. Graplo, you can help us unblock the river. Oh. Your next wish is Hugsy. Oh, yeah. This is a fun one. Hugsy! Hugsy loves wrapping anyone in super tight hugs. Who doesn't love hugs? Hugs! Hugsy, <laughs> you can help us round up the triplets. <laughs> and last, but definitely not least, we have Twisty. A super strong wish. Twisty! Great to see you again. <laughs> this one is a force of nature. Twisty can twist up anything, even a strong tornado. That's incredible! I'm just not sure how twisting could help with a flood or baby Yetis, but I can't wait to figure it out. Oh. <laughs> Zoo zip zap, wishes in my pack. <laughs> Whoa, let's go fix Yeti Village! Thanks, Z! Bye, Z! You're welcome! Good luck! Good job watching the babies, Griselda. Oh, no problem. You know, I always knew I was a great babysitter. But now I know I'm a fantastic carriage sitter, too. <laughs> Time for some wish power, True. You got it. Cunio, take us to the bridge, please. <laughs> For my first wish. Zip zap zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Graplo! Wish come true! Hi, Graplo! See that bridge over there? Oh uh ho! -huh. There's a big tree that's stuck underneath. Can you grab onto it and pull it out? Uh huh. Great. Okay, Graplo, get into position. Hey ho! Now, pull! Oh, yeah, ha ha! Keep trying, Graplo! Yeah. Yay! Hey, look! The water's going down! I just kissed the ground. Bye, Cubilo! See ya, buddy! 
Graplo, that was really impressive. Up top, Graplo! Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay! Cutest plumber ever! Now tuck yourself in. Okay, now to round up those babies and get them home before sunset. Where are those cute Yeti babies anyway? Yeah! Huh? <laughs> That didn't really answer my question. Which way did they go? Your kids flew for swinging over there, and there, and over there. <laughs> okay, but where's Grok? That came from over there. Okay, okay. Don't worry, babies. Uncle Bartleby will get you down. I'm um, true. How is Uncle Bartleby going to get them down? Give them something that babies love. Hugs! Time for my second wish. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Hugsy! Wish come true. Okay, Hugsy. These little yetis need your super huggy power. Oh, yeah! I love that! Now's your chance, Hugsy! It's cuddle Go now. <laughs> Aw, thank you, Grok. And now to buckle you in to make sure you stay put. <laughs> Here comes your. Okay, Hugsy. Time for round two. <laughs> Hi, Yurik. <laughs> that was fun, wasn't it? That's two babies down and one to go. <laughs> Hope your snuggle supply is high, Hugsy. No need, True. Hugsy can sit this one out. My book has a whole chapter on what to do when your Fruki's off his leash. Come here, Floof. You be a good baby Yeti. <laughs> huh? <laughs> hmm. When training your Fruki, offer treats as a reward. <laughs> I've got some yummy snacky wackies. Huh? <laughs> gotcha! Oh. Such good yetis. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Thanks for everything, Hugsy. <laughs> now tuck yourself in. <laughs> well, that's that. Now let's get these yeti babies home in bed. <laughs> You're getting sleepy already. See, I knew babysitting was going to be easy. Yeah, it's a good thing you brought your book, Griselda. And bringing your toys was a great idea, too, Bartleby. We're a pretty good babysitting team. Oh, what a wonderful sunset. I love the way it feels on my face. Huh? Sunset? And oh, look, there's Erg and Snick returning from their big day out. <gasps> Erg and Snick? I really hope they don't see that big pile of trees over there. It's messy. Pile of trees? Oh, no! We can't leave the Yeti Village like this! Cleaning up trees is not in my babysitting book. Griselda Bartleby, you need to get those Yeti babies back in bed before Erg and Snick get home. But, True, who's gonna clean up that mess? I'll take care of those trees. Okay, okay True, True, we're, we're on, on it. it! It's time for my third wish. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Twisty! Wish come true! <laughs> Hi, Twisty. We need your help and fast. You see all those trees over there? We need to clean them up before Mama and Papa Yeti get home. I know you can twist up a tidy tornado to lift them. 
They're getting closer. We'd better hurry up. Twist, twisty. I'm sure they have the triplets snug in their beds by now. <laughs> okay, Twisty, now's our chance. <laughs> Whoa, oh, oh. Great job, Twisty. Thank you so much for your help. Zoo zip zap wishes in my pack. Yeah! <coughs> oh. Oh. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Shh. Hi. Oh. Thanks for the fun day. You sure kept us on our toes. I hope you two had a lovely time. We had such a fun day with your little triplets. Whoa, oh boy, they sure do know how to play. <laughs> And good thing I was here because absolutely nothing went wrong. Here's my card. You got something for us? Oh, you shouldn't have. It was our pleasure. Love you, silly. <gasps> Frozen Sasuni juice balls. Woo! Thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. To the best babysitting team ever. Oh! <laughs> <laughs>